a shout, they would gladly live without a certain private by the name of Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey! Good night, Sarge. Merry Christmas. Season's greetings, Sarge. Like a merry old time, Sarge. Duh, happy holiday, y'all, though. Well, old pal, it's just the two of us. Dear Sergeant Snorkel, I'm inviting you and Otto to spend Christmas Eve with Mrs. Half-Track and me. Yes, sir, sir. That was a meal, General. Uh, sir. You can, huh? commanding officer gave me when we went up San Juan Hill with Teddy. Gosh, that's beautiful. Real nice. Is there anything I can do for you before we turn in, Sergeant? Yeah. Could I blow on that whistle, sir? Yeah, why, of course, Sergeant. Be my guest. <whistles> All right. You hit the sack and knock off that noise. Uh, yes, sir. Dear. Uh, night, Sergeant, and a Merry Christmas. Otto, seeing as how it's the Yuletide tonight, how's about I read you a poem? Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the oil stove to get... <sighs> Dried from the standing outside in the wet. <laughs> Old Otto was nestled all snug in his bed with visions of snake bones that danced through his head. When all of a sudden there was such a clatter, they sprang to the window to see what was the matter. Sarge opened the window the better to tell. And the draft that rushed in caused poor Otto to yell. <laughs> what to his bucked out eyes should appear was this here old sled and a bunch of reindeer with a little old driver with a helper in back. And when I looked real close, they looked like Beetle and Half Track. The helper took hold of that real heavy sack and threw all the presents on old Santa's back. In a flash and a twinkling, they was up on the roof. But poor Santa's helper was a terrible goof. They know it's Christmas. You'd think they had the brains to put out the fire. It must be relative to yours. This is supposed to be a surprise. Just can't get decent help these days. We'll go out the front door. With the presents all laid out, he turned off the light and whispered these words as he went out of sight. B -b -b Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Nighty night, Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Sergeant Snorkel. Merry Christmas, Bobo. Oh, uh, uh, Merry Christmas, folks. Did you get a little something for the holidays, Sergeant? Thank you, Santa. Uh, I mean, General Sir. All right, all right, it's child time. Uh, let's move out. Platoon! Ten! Uh, five! Uh, that's an order! The 
to a Merry Christmas! Ah!